Hey guys, happy Vlogmas day five. Um, today I pre-filmed a video back in October that never got uploaded. Um, I did a video with Mel um, on her vintage purse collection because honestly, I kind of find it was cool. Um, we went antiquing for like a couple places and I think I vlogged actually one time that we went to like um, a flea market. And I think it was, like, very cool. And I kind of wanted to share it with you guys because the background, knowing, like, these different purses is, like, really interesting and fascinating. So if you have a hobby like that, um, comment down below. Um, I definitely have a makeup collection that I will be doing sometime this vlog is showing you guys. Um, but without further ado, let's get in to Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs> All right, so obviously Mel is here. Hi. Um, so Mel, you want to explain what your idea was? Yes. Yeah, so my idea for um, a video was to show my vintage purse collection. All right, guys. So obviously, like I said, Mel came up with the idea for today's video. But honestly, thought it was a good idea because some of these I've actually been in person to see, and I think is actually pretty cool. So, I have a vintage purse collection because, as some of you know, I'm I'm double major, but I'm doing a theater major as well, and um, I'm just very fascinated with the history of purses and of fashion, and I just have been going to different flea markets and antique stores, and I've just been collecting for like the past two months. Um, there's quite a lot of them, but a lot of them like I've gone for like five dollars because a lot of people don't know what they have and they don't know the value of what they have so if you go to a flea market I'd be like oh can I have this purse for five dollars it looks like a ratty ass purse <laughs> but it's not it's probably gonna cost you like if you sold it like 120 or something so I'm gonna show you my purse collection so I'm gonna let her take the lead on it um I actually think it's pretty cool I don't have a collection like this but I think it's pretty... In honor of today, I have my Audrey Hepburn <sighs> shirt on, even though I am much of a Marilyn Monroe fan, but I do not have a Marilyn shirt. But I still love Audrey, so that's the vibe we're going for today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let's All get right. into it. I think we decided that we were going to do more modern and then go down to, like, the 1900s. Um, I actually find that the background of it is really cool because now I'm kind of, like knowing a lot more now about it and you're probably gonna want to start a collection i'm not starting the collection <laughs> okay so we're gonna start with the 1990s which some of you probably don't think that's vintage but like for us we were born mm -hmm. like 98 99 mm -hmm. so like some of the stuff we didn't really get to have because we're little babies so this is the first bag we're gonna show you today so this is a 90s kate spade bag if you could see the marking of her name right there and then it has silver hardware with the rich zipper and the interior of it is this like pumpkin orange color which you could tell it's 90s because unless you went to like Vera Bradley they wouldn't have that today I think I I like it but I'd probably say if this was in a black I'd probably rate that a five but I would say probably a three Okay, so we talked about rating the purses and our, like, what we like. Five meaning, like, we like it a lot. One meaning, like, eh. I would say probably, probably a three as well. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, the next one is also, this is the last 90s bag I have. And it's another baguette bag. And you could tell that it's black and it has silver hardware. And then if you open it up, it's a coach bag. So it has the identification right <laughs> there. I can rate this one probably a five. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like this one a lot too. This is definitely a five. I screamed when I saw it. Like I will share the price on this one because usually like coach bags are like a lot. Yeah, I got this yeah. for 20 bucks. Like, Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I know. Usually some of them range for like... 100 probably to 200 yeah depending so. on if you go to like a retail store i do not think this is bad oh then it has like the coach logo there and it's 80s is the next um 
So this I actually got as a gift. Um, this is like a clutch from the 80s. It's a navy color and then it has like diamonds, like little pattern on there. And a mirror, like can you picture like someone from the 80s like taking out their red lipstick and like putting it on? Like because they didn't have phones, right? They didn't have phones. So like there you go. Got your mirror right here. Yeah, I think they're yeah, they had lipstick in the 80s. Yeah, they have lipstick. <laughs> I'm like, I thought wait, you were wait. talking about a phone for a second. No, it's your fan. It's so cute. Okay. I would probably rate that oh, a three. Oh, forgot about that. A three. Yeah, because I feel like it's very, like, simple. I would say probably the same, probably a three. Even though now I'm looking at it and I don't have anything like this, so maybe a four. Okay. It's very cool. It was very much a cool find. It is a shell. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, kind of reminds me of Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Except, like, it's not in blue. And if you see, this is kind of, I'm guessing that this is the beginning of the 30, um, uh -huh. 80s. <laughs> the beginning of the 80s because um, in the 70s, I had lots of like drawstring yeah. bags. Great that. Honestly, I got it because it kind of reminded me of my mom. Like I could see my mom wearing this like in the 80s. But That's a shout out to Janice Planet. We know you're watching and I'm sorry that this is in your house, but <laughs> it's clean. It's clean. Um, so yeah, I would say, honestly, so I went to the flea market one time and I saw this and I didn't get it. And then I was like thinking about it and I'm like, Ooh, I wish I had gotten it. But then it, they, the same vendor was there and I had gotten it and it is just so beautiful. So I want to say it's like a five cause I'm just, I just think it's beautiful. Okay. I saw my cup of tea. Um, <laughs> I'd probably say a two. Wow, a two. <laughs> yeah, it was my newest collection. I didn't even take off the tag. But you didn't even see this one yet. Yeah, I didn't either. Honestly, it kind of matched my outfit today. Um, yeah, that's what I liked about it. It's very rainbow, like very like... Yeah, you could do, it's like beaded on here. Yeah, so like some of it is beads. You could see and some of it kind of like, reminds me of like a rainbow Italian cookie, but like <laughs> more colors. <laughs> some of it's like knitted, uh, it's like beaded. It's like oh, a beaded it's rope. Beaded? Oh, I thought that was a rope. No, it's beaded. So it's like heavy. It's super cute. I could just see like the Brady Bunch, like Marsha using this purse. They're like, oh, mom, I'm going out. To the garden. I'm going out to school. Why the heck would she wear a purse to the garden? I don't know. Maybe she... <laughs> bring a shovel to the garden. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But yeah, so that's what right, I have So what do you rate this? Oh, I rate this like a solid four. I say 3.5. There's nothing like from these ones that like wow me as much as more of the older. Oh, I mean decades, same, same. To be honest. Same. But very cool and then my last 70s bag which i'm obsessed yeah, with yeah i rate this one a five it's, i really like this one the chain is a little shorter and it's all beaded beautiful for sure me this is definitely like a five yeah i i think it's a five definitely like one of my favorite bags honestly okay okay so now go into the 60s. Alright. So I think so, some of these are, like, two of these are your least favorite, to be honest. So this one I'm about to show you, um, it's, like, the late, um, late 60s. So, like, I could so see, like, Charlie's Angels, like, wearing this purse. Okay, this one I feel like was one of the first ones you got. I'm scared to open this. What is it, made of metal? I'll pull, like, pull it back. Yeah. Okay. 60s. Definitely like a hippie would have yeah, that. Yeah, so like the inside. And it then, says then it's made in the USA. Beaded. It's kind of like thick and heavy. No, this is one of my favorites. This. Okay. I know. I love wait, that wait, one. This I is, say that's a one. Is, I would say this is a two, honestly. I, I feel like it's funky. It's like something. No, I would like, say a three for sure. A three, but it's not it's like really my not bad. favorite. Though so I favorite. get scared, I would probably like break it open and stop touching it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not gonna break. And if it does, that's because it's old. Okay, moving on. 
This is one of my five. I call that favorite bags. That's like me in a bag. I love that color. It's black and it just has a bunch of beads on it. It's 19 what? 50s. Oh, okay. So really cool. This is a cigarette case. We don't smoke. <laughs> we don't smoke. But we do use it to hold our credit cards and hold our um, money. Super cute. I just think it's such a cute wallet. It's so vintage, so old. Another little wallet is this little white one. So this is a purse. It's like beaded like pearls. I would it's say like that's beige. my least favorite one. Me too. I like it, but I don't know. It's like grapes. I really like the 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 shape inside. It's really dirty. Go set a flea market. Love Should that I? one. That's one of my favorite ones. So Whitney, or I'm not Whitney. Oh my gosh, Whiting and Davis is a big brand in the '50s to '20s, and um, this is one of their bags. Their their mesh bags is like what they're like known for. You could just see the sparkle elements to it, and then it's like really good condition because it has both the diamonds up top. And then if you just open it up, I would definitely say that that is a five. Yeah, five. It's I'm obsessed. This one is really cool. This is again like alligator skin or snake skin. I don't know what is a snake skin. It's looking more like snake skin. Yeah, I think that's snake skin. Okay, so the last 50s bag, which is my favorite of the 50s bags, is this white beaded bag. Your hair's on it. We wear. Right there. Ew. You shed a lot. Can you open it like this? And then inside it's like cord. She carried this in her freaking shirt because she didn't want it to get wet. Oh, yeah, no, this is my baby. I just think it's so beautiful. I went to the 40s, which I have a little. The forties bags. So we'll kind of go, I guess, quick with it. Yeah. So. Okay, so this I'm guessing it's like, but this one's like not in great condition. Like I feel like every second there's like a bead from falling from falling from it. It's but, cute though. Yeah, it's super cute. These like kind of together. So there's all three kind of that are like. Well, this one's different. Floral. So the tapestry was really big in the forties, and you could tell the difference between like regular rhinestones from like newer rhinestones because you could just tell they're like kind of matted that's like older so if you could tell that this has a bunch of animals on it tapestry then if you open it it's like a, this little like purse thing comes out which it's really super freaking cute i love that they did that i wish bags did that now heavy and then this one this one's my baby this is embroidery and this is from austria it's just so it luscious pretty. it's luscious and you open it like that i mean you, even like you could just see like the design that they just took, a little bit ukraine took into it you, it's very faint because it's old it says made in pause for a phone call all right moving on kind of cluster those together because they're kind of similar well this one's not this one is from the 40s it's made is that the first one you got? One of the first ones, yeah. This is um, made in Belgium. You can just see the quality. It's super heavy. You wouldn't think it was that heavy, but it's like the very, it's very cool. I want to say it's from the 40s, but one thing that threw me off is that this diamond is multicolored. It's pretty. Yeah, I would say this is a five. This is in great quality. I say four. Super cute. Okay, these I screamed when I saw it because I've been studying them. They're called cord bags, and you can see by like their shape. Is that the one you brought with me, or is it yeah, this I got one this. No, I got this one with you. Okay. I'd probably say three. We're going to the thirties. Let's see if I'll see anything. <laughs> um, another um, Whiting and Davis. So this is either from the twenties or thirties. We. Do not know. That's what the antique card said when I got it. Um, it's just very fun beading. I feel like I'm out of it today. That I call a five. That's yeah, a five. Yeah, this is a five. This is from the 30s. Um, you could tell because of the matted gemstones. And it's inside, you could. it says Czechoslovakia. 
that's where the maker and then this you would like either hold it like that or like you would put it like you'd have like a little like belt and you'd put it on your belt oh um open it like that and then you could see the little made in Czechoslovakia and I'm Czechoslovakian so like I thought it was like, too. very cool um, I really have no clue when it was made let me know if you have any ideas um sequins were popular in the, in the 20s because they rediscovered King Tut's tomb and um so the Americans tried to like copy him very pretty okay moving on this is my last um, 30s bag. I, I just really love it because most of, like, the older bags I have are more, like, for, like, going out to, like, a fancy event. But this, you could just tell, like, a, like, a 1930s, like, little girl could have had this purse and, like, kept it, like, with her change. Or... Okay, so now these are the best ones, baby! 1920s. So, this is the is pretty. Um, an Art Deco shape because of... When you open it, it looks like a building. Honestly, it kind of looks like a casket. No. <laughs> like Everyday it. Everyday morbid. Everyday morbid. Um, you could just tell that it's very old. So now, I'm going to show you my favorite one last. But this one is very fancy. It says 1920s. It's called a reticule purse. I want to say it was either the 20s or 30s, but my guess. I did some research and like... The coloring is more 20s and the 30s. Second to last is one that's just like it. Okay. Okay, so now the next one. This is the last bag I'm going to show you. Thank you for sitting through this whole thing because this is the best one. And this is my vintage. This is the first one that I got. And this is my vintage 1920s flapper purse. I think it's really pretty. It's beautiful. Again, like I said, the Egyptian um, culture influenced Art Deco's fashion. Has the same type of um, top as the other purse did. Then you open it. There's no like name inside. So comment down below which purse is your favorite. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys can please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified for more videos with me for vlogmas um that would be great i'll see you guys tomorrow for day six i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow bye oh, a merry little christmas let your heart be light from now